For several decades now, public service employees have been contributing to a pension scheme that offers value-added services like the microfinance and home ownership scheme. A pension scheme that guarantees a quality life and a secured future for members and their dependents after retirement. Committed to providing quality service through its nationwide presence. There is only one such pension scheme for public service employees. Public Service Pensions Fund, PSPF, keeping the pension promise. It's the 19th of September 2023. Welcome to Power Television Grand News. You are watching us live on Top Set Channel 89 and DTT and 543 on DTH. We are also live on Star Times application and Facebook. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. That is Crown TV Zambia. Before the news in detail, remember that you too can participate and send that letter to the president, which can be sent to the number 0979. 958392 that avoid vulgar language. Today's headlines. Former President Edgar Lungu urged to appoint spokesperson and administrative officer. Police officers in Kawata constituency will soon be in accommodation for Manza. About seven bereaved families in one road accident compensated. To present the news in detail, my name is Tandi Webanda Kamaso. Instead of using the patriotic front, party leaders, government has advised former President Edgar Lungu to appoint a spokesperson, such as an administrative officer, for his retirement office to be fully operational. Since Mr. Lungu was defeated two years ago and he resigned from the party presidency of the patriotic front, various leaders of his former ruling party have been speaking on his behalf. Speaking in an interview with Crown TV News, Ministry of Information and Media Director, spokesperson Tabo Kawana says the 60th president should stop speaking through PF party officials. Mr. Kawana said senior PF party officials know what needs to be done and wondered why Mr. Lungu is not being advised. Recently, Mr. Lungu argued that the state has no right to stop him from traveling without notifying him after his retirement. But the question that begs answers is whether the 30-year-old benefits of former President's Act, Chapter 15 of the Laws of Zambia, enacted on the 24th of December 1993, should be amended or remain in force as it is. Blessings Mukandawire has details in this report. When he addressed Parliament in 2016, after being re-elected by the Zambian people, then-President Edgar Lungu told the people of Zambia that he won't need a retirement house as he would rather be at his Chama residence. Fast forward, the incumbent president, Haka Indehichinema, has also decided to forego his salary. But in retirement, President Edgar Lungu is enjoying 80% of what could be Mr. Hichinema's salary. Mr. Lungu is also being paid in terms of rentals, a house being owned by a Zambian footballer, Stopil and Sunzu. This has brought top for the question of whether the benefits of former President's Act Chapter Number 15 of the Laws of Zambia enacted on 24th December 1993 should be amended or remain in force. Minister of Information and Media Director Spokesperson Tawo Kawana sees nothing wrong in the Act. They are saying on condition that you cease to participate in the act politics, then your pension will be If you decide to take the act back, then you will take the act back, then you will go back to the tax year and not go back to the state. But you can see that the man is necessarily behaving and he will be pressured that he will go back to the tax year. 
Zambia has so far had seven presidents since independence in 1964. Mr. Haga Indehichilema is the current president, but Zambians don't know whether he will accept benefits after turning a salary during his term of office. Some of the benefits of the former presidents are three cars with free maintenance and petrol entitled to the extent determined by the cabinet, but only one car for the surviving spouse. The other one is one administrative assistant who should be at the level of the deputy permanent secretary. The former president should also have a medical insurance and his spouse. The state is also mandated to take care of the funeral expenses for the former head of state. Blessings, Mkandewa reporting. Crown TV News. Joining us this, on set this evening is one of our, of our senior reporters, Blessings Mkandawiwe. Good evening. Good evening, Tandio. How are you doing? Good. Straight to dive into what we have for today. You did have a chat with the director spokesperson at the Ministry of Information. What is it that government is saying over the office of the 6th president? Yeah, Tandio, uh, I think I was here yesterday trying to elaborate what uh, has been happening. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, uh, the spokesperson at the Minister of uh, of uh, uh, information did indicate that uh, the office of the uh, sixth Republican president needs officers. And uh, what now they are saying is that they need uh, a special assistant who should be actually in charge of organizing um, and be able to advise uh, uh, the sixth Republican mm -hmm. president. This is what is happening now. <clears throat> okay, so the former president yesterday withdrew the lawsuit against the state. What is the update on that? So uh, apparently the former you know, uh, president has actually given an admittance Mm -hmm. to government to actually uh, withdraw or rather uh, to make amends to the refusal of, uh, to allow him actually uh, to to explain why government decided to uh, bar him from traveling to South Korea. You are aware that the, the Republican, well rather the former Republican president was supposed to attend the peace summit, uh, mm -hmm. summit uh, in South Korea and uh, we are told that the, uh, some officers from the immigration um, a protocol officer actually went actually on the plane mm -hmm. at Tandiwe at uh, Kenneth County International Airport to inform the former uh, Republican president that the government has actually cancelled your trip to South Korea for, of course, security reasons. Um, Tao Kawana did indicate that uh, the former Republican president he is actually a government property and he cannot just make movements uh, without notifying government because he is actually... <coughs> A statesman and he holds so many secrets mm -hmm. about the country mm -hmm. so he, they cannot allow him to just be moving without notifying cabinet mm -hmm. so this is why um, uh, the former republican is actually challenging government so why this is actually demanding for an explanation uh, that uh, where are they basing their arguments from so that's why he's actually involving the courts Good to have you on the ground. I'm sure we'll get more updates as the story unfolds. Definitely, definitely. We just wait for this ultimatum that the, uh, the former Republican president has given uh, government through his lawyers. Mm -hmm. So we see by tomorrow we'll be able to update the nation on what is uh, obtaining on the ground. So there you have it from our senior reporter there, Blessings Mukandawira. For all the updates, you stay tuned to Crown Television Grand News. Moving on, seven families whose relatives died and others hospitalized in Boroma accidents in Luana district earlier this month have received government's financial assistance. Each family has received a 5,000 kwacha towards the barrier expenses. The money was dispersed to families at Masansa school football pitch. More details in this report. Government, we will ensure that each family, each family that is bereaved and those that are still in hospital will get a 5,000 from government to help them continue with the funeral. That was an assurance made by government through the Vice President Mtalena Lumango when she delivered a speech at Chikwasha Cemetery in Mkoshi when Boroma fatal accident victims were put to rest. Seven families in Luana district comprising of four who lost their beloved ones and three whose relatives are still nursing wounds have received the promised money. This happened in Masansa. Government has fulfilled the pledge for financial help to the families of the deceased and those of the survivors. None of this will end the grief you have today and it won't undo uh, what has happened. I know that 
instead it renews our hope and our confidence that there is a way forward even when we can't know the way. And pastor's fellowship representative encouraged the people through the word of God. <laughs> Like in my case, my sister was 45 years. Bambi, but if I'm 30 something, Bambi, but I'm 50 something. So to the Nutilla, Elaine Mia, Kayane, Tabafuiri, Lepo, and Shita Eoles, Atile, Epovaca Fuila. Elaine Mfuaba Fuile, Mo, and Mfua Eovalesa, Api Minokovat, Evaca Fuila, Mo. You know, a representative of the seven families thanked government for the gesture as he stated that if it was not for the support, the burden would have been unbearable. We are, can just learn out of which, because I know even saying thank you, a million thanks cannot actually meet to what uh, uh, this able uh, government did on uh, behalf of our families. Had it been that we were we could we could to do this task on our own as families, this burden was to be unbearable. But we thank God Almighty for having such leaders that have heart for people. And this is what entails uh, about leadership. Leadership is all about uh, uh, providing solutions where there are problems. Joseph Siambihi Crown, TV News, Rwanda District, in Central Province. The days of school children missing class are probably about to end as the SACA has trained about 846 teachers in basic health complication detections, especially worms. The Ministry of Health has noted and noticed that the missing of classes in pupils, of pupils in various schools as a result of worms, which is more